Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer and a lover of all kinds of music. We have some more Anna for y'all today. I know it's been a couple of weeks and I apologize for the wait, but we are back on our journey with Nate and we are ready to get analytical, philosophical and Honestly, just rewrite the meaning of life in general, because I feel like ever since I started to listening to NF, I've just completely awakened something inside of me that had been dormant for years. So it's interesting to see how music and Nate especially can pull some things out of our subconscious that maybe uh, some unresolved things from childhood, some things from our past and past traumas that we kind of uh, pushed under the rug. And now that we're listening to this, it's like free therapy. And I cannot wait to continue to indulge those feelings of self-affirmation and honestly just get myself right on the right path because this has really been so incredibly healing for me uh, but thank you so much for all of the love on these videos if you do enjoy this content please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss my nf journey ever again so that being said we're going to be starting off with nf the search life i don't know it's all right i've been dealing with some things like every human being and really didn't sleep much last night i'm sorry that's fine i just think i need a little me time i just think i need a little free time a little break from the shows and the bus rides yeah last year i had a breakdown thoughts telling me i'm lost getting too loud had to see a therapist and i found out something funny's going on up in my house yeah started thinking maybe i should move out you know pack my car take a new route clean up my yard get the noose out hang up my heart let it air out air out I've been searching, what does that mean, Nate? I've been learning, grabbing my keepsakes, leaving my burdens, well, I brought a few with me, I'm not perfect, looking at the view like this concerns me, picking up the cues, right? I'm quite nervous, hating when I lose sight, life gets blurry and things might hurt me, it's probably gonna be a long journey, but hey, it's worth it though, cold world out there, kids, grab your coat, it's been a minute, I know, now I'm back to Rome, looking for the antidote to crack the code, pretty vivid, I admit it, I'm in classic mode, the only pity given to me, but I can't condone, talking down to me, I'ma have to crack your nose for cracking jokes, I'm Looking for the map, the hope. You see that? You see Been making a whole lot of changes. Wrote a song about that. You should play it. I get scared when I walk on these stages. I look at the crowd and see so many faces. Yeah, that's when I start to get anxious. That's when my thoughts can be dangerous. That's when I put on my makeup and drown in self hatred. Forget what I'm saying and where the beat go. Oh, ain't that something? Drums came in. You ain't see that coming. Hands on my head. Can't tell me nothing. Got a taste of the fame. It'll pull my stomach. Throw it back up like I don't want it. Wipe my face clean up my vomit OCD trying to push my buttons I said don't touch it Now y'all done it I can be critical, never typical Intricate with every syllable I'm a criminal Intimate but never political Pretty visual Even if you hate it I'll make you feel like you're in it though You call me what you wanna But never call me forgettable Leave you deep in thought I can never swim in the kiddie pool Wait it, I've been thinking The cinematic is beautiful Man, I don't know if I'm making movies Or music videos Videos, videos Yeah, the sales can rise Doesn't mean much though When your health declines See, we've all got something That we trapped inside That we try to suffocate You know, hoping it dies Try to hold Hold it underwater, but it always survives. And it comes up out of nowhere like an evil surprise. And it hovers over you to tell you millions of lies. You don't relate to that? Must not be as crazy as I am. The point I'm making is the mind is a powerful place. And what you feed it can affect you in a powerful way. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, but it's not always safe. Just hang with me. This will only take a moment, okay? Just think about it for a second. If you look at your face, every day when you get up and think you'll never be great, you'll never be great. Not because you're not, but the hate. We'll always find a way to cut you up and murder your faith. I've been developing, take a look at the benefits. Nothing to matter with, I can never be delicate. My irrelevant, that depends on you measure it. Take a Measurement to back it up and give me the evidence. Pretty evident, dependable, can never be tentative. I'm a gentleman, depending on if I think you're genuine. Pretty elegant, but not afraid to tell you to get it. Grip, proper etiquette. I keep it to myself when I celebrate. Huh? Huh? It's that time again. Better grab your balloons and invite your friends. Seat belts back on, yeah, strap them in. Look at me, everybody, I'm smiling big. On a road right now that I can't predict. Tell me, tone that down, but I can't resist. Y'all know that sound, better raise your fist. The search begins. I'm back, so enjoy the trip. Huh? 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 <laughs> Holy. 
felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. I feel like I'm just, ah, I'm just trying to catch up here. That was a lot to soak in. And I think it was like a 40 minute something second song. And now I, I, I really, you guys were so right. I need to rewatch it, release, re-listen to Hope again because there were so many things in this song. And now that I'm going through this journey with y'all, I'm putting so many pieces together and it's all making so much more sense. You know, even on a first listen, listening to Hope, a lot of it, you know, I connected with him so deeply. Wait a minute. That symbolism. Holy hell. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I thought we were done. I thought we we're gonna get credits or something. And that symbolism right there was just uh, all I'm taking from it right now, just seeing that scene right there is, you know, he's wearing his dark clothing. And it was really interesting. I, I wonder what the symbolism with the shoes was, because I noticed everything was kind of color graded, very like dark, dull, um, kind of like a very like like somber kind of mood. But the shoes were, you know, yellow still. So I wonder if there's any symbolism or maybe I'm just overanalyzing. But you see, you know, the, the suits usually wear that when you're going into kind of like a like a mental institution or you're going to a hospital. And it's interesting that he gets into the car. He's kind of pushing it the whole way and he kind of succumbs to it and sits in the car in his dark clothes and he's handed the white suit kind of like that is the start of a journey of healing. Maybe he's going to deal with all of the the demons in his head, all of that anger and aggression because the beats, if you notice, the beats, they would get progressively louder and louder and louder. And he even said in one part, where did the beat go? You know, it, it was interesting with the words overlaid with that beat, that very like bassy kind of like, it, it felt kind of like a mental breakdown in a sense, hearing him kind of like get angry and angry and progressively just spit out all of, the, all of these words. And it was just a lot. I'm feeling so much. There were so many references to so many of the songs that I'm starting to already listen to. And I'm already piecing together that this journey, it's a whole collective artwork. And it's interesting that everything kind of like all these bits and pieces, you see how he's slowly progressing. And I feel like I'm over here watching Star Wars because I'm watching things out of order. But now that I'm kind of getting all of these pieces, it's all kind of making sense. And it's someone like this, someone who is so true to their art that even if you are new to the journey, you already piece together everything so quickly like that because he is just so raw and real and genuine. And you kind of, you know, feel of all of those feelings kind of transfer to you through the screen. And for a second, even if you're not an empath, you will feel it all. And I, it's overwhelming, but it is the greatest experience that I felt. I feel like I've been so I, I've come to life. I've, I've never felt this alive ever since I have started listening to NF and I have y'all to thank for showing me and I have him to thank for, you know, using his platform and his artwork to kind of, you know, spread this message and help other people in the process. And I have so much to say. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. But I have a little bit more to say. So let's just dissect this a little bit further. Like I mentioned before in my intro, I feel like ever since I started this NF journey, so many things have been kind of being pulled out of my subconscious, things that I never dealt with in my childhood things from past traumas and relationships and family that I kind of just shove under the rug and I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. If it's not, if I don't see it, it's not there. And I kind of put on this facade that life is great. I smile. I put on a, you know, fake persona because I try to trick my brain into thinking. And I got really good at it for years and years and years, almost decades of it. And now that I'm kind of coming to terms with my demons and this song in particular, I feel like that's why the whole four minutes and what, 30 second song, I felt like I couldn't breathe because it just felt like, is he is he pointing a mirror at me right now? It really felt like I was looking at my own reflection and seeing all of these things that I'm not facing and seeing all of these things that I'm kind of putting off to the side that I need to deal with because I'm going to grow up and be a completely different person and have, have all of these resentments with all of the things that were left unresolved in my whole life. And that's no way to live. And I feel like him, he's still very young and he's been doing this for so many years and every, even things from like what? I think it was like six or seven years ago when I started listening to some older stuff that I realized he's always been like this, always stay true to himself. And even with this new album, he's still the same perfect, still, you know, it's the same person, still spitting facts, still being true to himself, still being incredibly genuine and speaking the truth and not being vulgar or aggressive or trying to start drama or be, you know, clickbaity or fishy. He just says, he, he just speaks from his heart. And that's all you got to do to stay true to yourself. And especially in this business and in the rap industry, things can be very chaotic, as of you all know. And he's always, you know, been that same person, which I completely admire and respect. But 
I, I don't know if he's realizing that he's helping so many people in the process. I know this is his form of therapy, you know, putting this out on paper, releasing his music. This is his, you know, outlet, his form of therapy. But in doing so, he's also helping so many people out there that didn't even, you know, know they had these feelings that needed to awaken that self in them to kind of get their asses in gear and get some therapy, talk about it, you know, get into their feelings, get emotional. And it's interesting. A lot of you guys in my, you know, comment section when my I do my NF videos have told me, I, I have been told to not cry my whole life. I've been told to, you know, suck it up, to be a man, do all these horrible things. And you start realizing like, it's okay to feel. It's okay to have emotions. It does not make you a lesser person. It just means you're alive and you're in tune with these, you know, emotions that you have. And that's honestly amazing because there's so many people out there who can't say that. And that's honestly no way to live. That's very sad. And I appreciate you guys all listening to this, telling me your stories, sharing me your experiences and telling me how much NF has helped you in your life as well. And I, I love that. I love that. You know, we're all kind of connecting together, all different kinds of walks of life. Me, a metalhead uh, from California, never thought I would get into this kind of music. And now this is the stuff that is getting me through, you know, my life and, and my mental health journey. So it's awesome to see it. I love to see it. And we're going to continue to listen to NF, share and spread the word with others who have not to maybe hopefully help them along the way. And you know, just get his name out there because this needs to be a household name. But uh, thank you so much for all of the love on these past videos. And if you you all NFNs have been just so incredibly kind and so just thoughtful and, you know, uplifting and helping me along the way and giving me some extra insight, which I greatly appreciate y'all taking the time to do so. But we are not done, of course, with our NF journey. If you have other songs you'd like me to, you know, listen to next, uh, whichever order, we're kind of you know, doing things as they come, but let me know in the in the comments below. I would love to check uh, check them out with you guys. But I also have videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Love to get to know you guys a little bit better. We do some live reactions, talk a ton about mental health. We are very close knit over there. But other than that, videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.